And now your exclusive Storm Team 3 forecast from KTBO. Mild and breezy for tonight, an active weather week, but we do have some cooler temperatures that's going to be moving in. Right now, let's take a look at the KTVO Skycam that's located on top of the Kirksville City Hall, brought to you by Heritage Channels Realty and King's Appliance. It is beautiful out there, temperatures into the mid to upper 80s. Though it is on the windy side, southwest winds around 20 to 25 miles per hour. All across southeast Iowa and northeast Missouri, it is nice out there. Though on the warm side, temperatures 86 degrees at the Kirksville Regional Airport. Uh, winds are out of the south at around 17 miles per hour. Tumwa coming in 90 degrees. They topped out for today. Winds are out of the south at around 22 miles per hour. Those strong winds will continue to remain with this for tonight and actually as we're heading into Tuesday and Wednesday gusts up to about 30 to even 40 miles per hour as we're heading into Wednesday. So we're in for a couple of strong winds across the area. Those temperatures continuing to fall only into the 60s for tonight. 68 degrees at 3 a.m. by 7 a.m. only 66 degrees with mostly sunny skies. Now we do have some thunderstorms that's going to start moving in late tomorrow night. No severe weather is expected for us. However, just off to the west, uh, there are marginal and slight risks. So we'll keep a close eye on this just in case if it moves a little bit farther south and east into our viewing area. But this is what it's looking like as far as the timing. Uh, we've got dry conditions for tonight and most of the day on Tuesday. The line of thunderstorms are not going to start to continue to move in and affect us until actually we're moving into about 11 o'clock time frame. And by that time, it's looking like they're going to continue to weaken. So that's why we're not expecting any severe weather uh, into the overnight as well. So we'll get a little bit of a heavier rain uh, into the morning hours as well. We'll get a little bit of a break, but then into the afternoon on Wednesday, that's when we'll start to see the second round pushing in as well. Over the next 36 hours, as far as how much precipitation, of course, the heaviest is going to stay well to the south in Kansas City, over an inch and a half of rain expected. In our viewing area, we're looking about a half an inch, uh, less than a half an inch, mainly into the higher amounts into northeast Missouri, less than a tenth of an inch. Of course, this is going through 5 a.m. on Wednesday. We're going to be adding on to that as we're heading into Wednesday afternoon and evening hours. 65 degrees, though, as your overnight low for tonight. South winds 5 to 15, gusting up to about 21 miles per hour. But those winds are going to continue to increase for tomorrow. Temperature-wise, just a few degrees cooler. 84 degrees as your high southwest winds 10 to 20, gusts up to 30 miles per hour. Of course, it would be good to keep a close eye on those storms with the KTVO weather app. If you haven't, download it now. It's available on your Android or iPhone devices. And the extended five-day forecast looking like this. Cooling down, I talked about that, 79 degrees on Wednesday with a 60% chance of those showers and thunderstorms. 80 on Thursday, 70 degrees on Friday, 69 on Saturday with a 50% chance of rain. Of course, anytime, check us out 24-7 at KTVO.com. So we have a lot of chances for rain pushing in this mm -hmm. week right now no severe weather is expected okay we're eyes on it thanks yes. Teresa. welcome we'll be right back